Hello everyone, this is James Song here. Welcome to this video. Uh, today we are covering question two of the speaking section of the TOEFL test. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you know, question two is one of integrated tasks in speaking section which means question two, three, four are integrated tasks. Just question one we covered already is the independent task. This means we are just summarizing the information that are provided to us, whether it's listening or reading, okay? So our job is to summarize not express our own opinion. In fact, if we express our own opinion, we'll get deduction in our score, all right? So question two, let's have a look at it. Um, there is a, you know, many people may be aware already, but let me just um, quickly go through the structure and format of this question. Uh, you are provided, the reading passage is provided for you and you only have 45 seconds to make notes for the reading passage and they actually disappear. They don't come back ever again. So you need to practice and do a good job writing notes, writing necessary notes that you need to um, you know, be able to uh, do speaking about what's written in the reading passage, okay? And then the listening file is played. So you need to make notes and then you put it all together and prepare for 30 seconds. And then you give your final answer in 60, 60 seconds to get points. And if you actually look at the question, Ultimately, at the end, what you need to do is you need to, um, the woman expresses her opinion about the plan described in the article. So in the article is reading. Uh, so this is the actual question, all right? This is what we need to say in 60 seconds. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. So. Pretty much, we need to summarize the listening section. However, let's help you um, understand the reading first. It's pretty short. Um, today, I won't, so it's 45 seconds in real test that we need to write notes on the reading, but I won't do it in real time today because since this is a speaking lesson, um, I just wanna be thorough and comprehend the reading passage with you, sentence by sentence. So in other videos, I will try to show you what you need to do in real time, but not today, okay? So reading, uh, energy costs reach sky high levels. Heating prices and the university's heating bills reached record high level this year. Okay, so is this, um, Thesis, main idea, or background information? Okay. In an effort to reduce heating cost, looks like first sentence is just background information, not, not the thesis, right? Second sentence is, because this is like some kind of action uh, the university is taking. So in an effort to reduce heating cost, what are they doing? The university decides to lower the temperature in classroom buildings on weekends and on weekdays every day uh, after 5 p.m. when the classes have officially ended. Okay, so this is what they're doing. This is main idea. This was background information, as you can see. So this is what university uh, has decided to do. Okay. And some detail because it's justifying the reason for the main idea. Okay, why uh, 
they are doing this because the class will not be in session at these times after five, because it says after five, uh, the classes have officially ended, right? So since classes are officially ended uh, at five, the reduced heat, so lowering the temperature, will not have negative impact on students because they will not be there. They are not in class. University consider it essential that the cost saving measures not interfere with student activity. So it's not the second reason. This is almost like a minor detail or conclusion just to justify uh, pretty much saying the same thing as the previous sentence, like immediately previous sentence to this sentence. It's just like emphasizing this will not uh, negatively impact the student. Like university consider it essential that whatever we do will not interfere the student's uh, studies or student's activities, okay? Yeah, so if we write this down, um, university heating bill, reached record high this year. And I might not say this in this order when I, when I summarize, I might say this first. Uh, what are they doing? They are reducing, lowering the temperature in classroom buildings. after it's every day weekends and on work days okay after 5 p.m because um you know the classes are officially ended at 5 p.m okay so this is enough for reading i'll tell you why when i get to the preparation and actually answering uh, responding to the question answering uh, but just for practice, let's summarize the whole passage in the right structure because they believe um, reduced heat will not have negative effects on students and their studies because their classes are over, right? And um, yeah, I mean, last sentence, almost like justifying this. It's not a second reason, okay? So university considers essential that whatever university does uh, will not interfere with uh, students' activities, okay? See, uh, whatever we've done, will make sure it will not interfere with students. It will not interfere negatively because it's after class time. Class finishes at 5 p.m. That's what they're saying. So this is a full note. And just to answer the speaking question two, uh, maximum this much may be all you need to train and practice to do in 45 seconds. I'll tell you why, but to make the whole notes of the whole passage, uh, this is it, okay? All right, moving to the listening uh, part. Okay, let's uh, listen to the listening passage. <laughs> listen to the listening passage and uh, make notes. This time we'll have to do it real time because it's listening. Here we go to two students discussing the article. What on earth is the university thinking? Huh? What do you mean? Well, those buildings aren't just used for classes. That's where my evening study group usually meets. Oh, oh, of course, that's true. But you could go to the library instead. Yeah, but the library only has a few rooms that people can use for group meetings, which is why classrooms have been so convenient. But now, if it's winter and cold, where can we go? Right. In the middle of winter? Forget it. 
Or, or even if it's just kind of cold out. It'd be pretty unpleasant. Oh, but still, they obviously have to do something about the situation. Oh, I agree. They have to do something, but they should find a solution that isn't so disruptive, to academics no less. Such as? Well, for one, if they replaced all those old windows. They're so drafty. They let the cold in, and if they insulated the buildings better. These are really old buildings. Charming, but... But not at all energy efficient. Yeah, you're probably right. There are some really basic improvements they could make that would make a huge difference in the long term, that could solve the problem and still leave us somewhere to study. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, listening passage, let's just go through it. Uh, you know, the woman is strongly against it. She's like, what is university thinking? So, a little bit indirect, not direct, but woman expresses her opinion about the plan described in the article. So, you know, she is pretty much saying like, you know, is university gone mad? Are they gone mad? Like, like are you crazy kind of thing? So uh, obviously disagrees with the decision and uh, it shows again and again, okay? Uh, so the first reason is that she believes it's not, Classroom buildings are not just for classes. Um, you know, she has the evening study group there, right? And since library only has few rooms for the meetings, classroom, using classroom buildings, classroom uh, for meeting or evening study group has been so convenient for her, right? And the second detail, uh, now it's winter and it's really cold. So she has nowhere else to go for, you know, students have nowhere else to go for the meeting or study group. Okay. And the second reason, um, university should find a solution that is not disruptive academically, at least, right? And first detail. So this is the perfect structure, guys. Uh, probably 90%, at least like 85% to 90%, you know, pretty much 100%, right? Uh, integrated speaking and even integrated writing, okay? Uh, the listening section, the, the way to get the perfect score is you need to, the body paragraph, you need to have the main idea, the body topic sentence, and two details. Topic sentence and two details. Most of the TOEFL integrated tasks, listening passage is structured this way in integrated speaking and even integrated writing. Okay. So uh, if we can summarize topic sentence and two details. Uh, we are in a good shape, okay? And the second reason is that university should um, come up with a solution that is not disruptive, at least academically. And she suggests, uh, first detail, university can replace all the old windows that let the cold in and replacing the window will better insulate the classroom, right? And there's one minor detail, almost like a conclusion, not the second reason. Uh, she say, you know, there are many basic improvements that university can make uh, that will have a long-term difference to solve the problem, okay? Without disrupting the students uh, academically or, you know, solve the problem without taking away the space to study, yeah? Hmm. Okay, so that's how you answer, right? We're done. So we just need to deliver the perfect answer. So how do we do that? We have 30 seconds preparation time. We need to use the preparation time properly. The best way to use this is we try to very quickly, we don't have time to make a full sentence, but in words, uh, if we can, 
try to do it very quickly, the whole cover the whole answer we need to give in words. Uh, trust me, guys, if you practice this way again and again and again and again, it will help you improve so much so quickly because uh, you get to the level where you are almost answering it twice by, you know, practicing once and then giving your real answer um, later. Okay. And also you have the attitude that, okay, I covered everything. I got this. And all I have to do is put this in full sentence. Then I'll get the perfect score. You, you will get to this level if you practice this way. So the way you practice is just go through the whole answer and you might not be able to do it in 30 seconds first, but if you practice again and again, you eventually get there, okay? So like uh, university reached a record high level heating cost. So to reduce this, they decided to reduce the temperature in classroom building after five. Woman says no because not just for classroom, uh, it's cold and winter, nowhere to go, disruptive academically, replace window, uh, better for insulation. And there are many basic improvements that can make the big difference in long term. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, right? So this is how you do it, okay? And it doesn't happen um, when you do it first time, but you, know, you need to practice this way. Uh, yeah, this is the best way I, I invented actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So, and then, you know, you have this attitude. Okay. Let's calm down, deep breath. And all I have to do is, uh, say that in full sentence. Okay. So I have a script ready for you again, for this question as well. So just, um, you know, really look at the relationship my answer, my answer has with the notes we wrote together, okay? And just see how uh, that fit together, okay? So obviously in reality, I won't be reading out the script or I won't be able to type the full uh, sentence. Of course not, it's a speaking test. So this answer, need to come out from the notes we have written, okay? So let's go. According to the reading passage, university decided to lower the temperature in classroom buildings on weekends and work days after 5 p.m. when the classes are not being held to reduce the heating cost. See, I told you. So uh, here, I've done everything with you, but um, if you look at the question, it doesn't say like explicitly summarize the reading part. It, it, it doesn't say that at all, okay? So, what we need to do is state her opinion, listening, explain reasons she gives for holding that opinion, listening. So all we need to do for the reading is to give the context, this is a situation, and this is the um, university's plan. Because we need to talk about what she feels about the university's plan. So all we have to give is the main idea, uh, of the reading passage. We don't, we don't have to give the details or reasons why I have done that. You can say it, there's no deduction. Uh, if you feel you have enough time, um, you can say the reasons or details of the reading, but it's not necessary to underscore. That's all I'm saying. And my students are offline classes and myself, uh, you know, we, we achieved the full score, perfect score many, many times. Uh, for question two and three, um, I and my own students only say the um, main idea of the reading passage. Okay.
we don't say anything more than that. But you know, it helps us uh, get the full score. That's what I'm saying. So, but listening, we need to say everything because that's the question. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. So, as I said just before, uh, thesis, topic sentence, two details, topic sentence, two details. So, per body paragraph, one topic sentence and two details will always get you the perfect score. Okay. In integrated speaking and integrated writing, as I already mentioned. So let's go again from the top. According to the reading passage, university decided to lower the temperature in classroom buildings on weekends and work days after 5 p.m. when the classes are not being held to reduce the heating cost. The woman in the conversation disagrees with the university's decision. First, classroom buildings are not just for classes, the woman uses them for her evening study group. Library only has few rooms, and since it's very cold in winter, she feels that she has nowhere else to go. Second, university should find a solution that is not disruptive academically for the students. For example, university can replace all the windows to make the building better insulated. Like this, there are basic improvements that university can make to make a big long-term difference to solve this problem without being disruptive academically. So something like this, okay? Uh, doesn't have to be word for word, uh, but something like this will earn you the perfect score, okay? And this, obviously, um, <laughs> as you know, uh, need to come from the notes, instantaneously because it's a speaking test okay you need to say something like that that i shown you a script for from the notes so that's another practice you need to do and you must record your answer and do the dictation of your own answer by listening to your answer multiple times and you should practice to actually do your own self-evaluation to the level um, at least correcting basic grammar by yourself, actually. This is the best way to improve, okay? All right, so that's uh, question two. There you have it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this was helpful and let's keep studying together and keep working hard and let's improve our TOEFL score together. And I'll see you in my next video when I'm covering question three of the speaking section. Okay, thank you very much guys. Bye for now.